I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a test question on transformation of functions. Let's look into this question in details. The question here is, consider a parabola P that is congruent to y equals to x square, opens upwards and has a vertex 2 minus 1. Now find the equation of a new parabola that results if P is reflected on x-axis, vertically stretched by a factor of 2, translated 2 units to the right and 8 units up. Graph the new function. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now the mistake which students might do is not to consider transformation on the already transformed function. So that is important to understand. So let's go through this question once again. Let's write down the equation for parabola P first, right? So you say P of X is equal to what? So it is a parabola that is congruent to X square opens upwards. When we say congruent to X square means there is no vertical stretch or compression nor horizontal stretch or compression, right? Opens upwards and has a vertex 2 minus 1. So we can write this equation in the vertex form which is x, the vertex is 2 minus 1, so it becomes x minus 2 whole square minus 1. So that is the parabola given to us. And now let's look into the transformation which it goes through. So the transformed function f of x is actually transformed p of x, correct? Now find the equation of new parabola that results if p is reflected on x-axis. That means we are looking for a negative value of this reflected on x-axis. Vertically stretched by a factor of 2, it gets multiplied by 2. Translated 2 units to the right and 8 units up. That means if you are considering that function, then it has been translated two units to the right. So when you translate it two units to the right, that value becomes x to the right means that will make it zero, right? Translate two units to the right and eight units up, plus eight. So this is the kind of transformation which is taking place. Do you understand? I only wrote this for you to understand that this transformation is on that function, correct? So, so what we should do here is, we should write our function as f of x equals to, so that is our function, is that okay? So in this function, we will introduce these parameters. So we'll say minus two times, x minus two is already there, right? x minus two, is already there we'll introduce this minus 2 here because this function has been stretched reflected and now translated two units to the right so minus 2 does it make sense to you right similarly to the value which was plus 8 I mean value which was minus 1 will add plus 8 to that right so we had minus 1 here we will add plus 8 to it. So what we get here is, I mean, of course, this is square, minus 2, x minus 4, whole square, and that becomes plus 7. So this becomes your transformed function. Now that is one way of doing it. So we get f of x as equal to minus 2 times x minus 4 whole square, plus 7, right? Another way to look into this is kind of like this. We already have an equation. I'm just giving you an alternate way to check. What we are also given that the vertex is 2 minus 1. So this is the vertex of the parabola given to us. After doing all these transformations, the vertex changes its position. How? It has been reflected on x-axis, 
vertically stretched by a factor of 2 translated 2 units to the right and 8 units up. So, so if I reflect this vertex, this point, then you can see the translation part of the vertex is because of 2 units to the right and 8 units up. So basically, 2 units to the right becomes, so the new vertex will be at 4, you plus 2 and plus 8 here, which gives us 7. And that is what you see here. Do you see that? So that is kind of a check which you could always do to figure out if we are on the right path or not. Correct? Now, the second part of this equation is to sketch the transformed function. To sketch, let's begin with the vertex itself. It is at 4 and 7 so on this graph paper this is 4 and 7 so that becomes the vertex now it opens down and the steps are minus 2 so we can say minus 2 times 1 3 5 so on is it okay so first step so this is this is one unit so first step go 2 down so we get 1 from the symmetry second step 3 times 2 is 6, go 6 down. So second step go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 down. And from symmetry that will be your point. And join these points to sketch the parabola. Remember this part should be a curved part, not, not a point. Is it okay? So that is how you get your parabola. Arrows at the end indicating very clearly that it has, its range is less than or equal to 7, right? So this point for us is 7. And this point here is 4 as you can see. I am Anil Kumar and I hope this helps you to understand the concepts. Similar questions could now be solved easily. Feel free to share my videos, subscribe to them and if you like, put some likes. Thank you and all the best.